The federal government has announced plans to review the 2020 budget as crude oil revenue comes under pressure from the effects of the raging coronavirus infection globally. The Minister of Finance and Budget Planning, Zainab Hamed, said the government was worried about the drop in oil revenue and would soon start a mid-term review of the budget to determine the way forward. She said this to State House correspondents after Wednesday's Federal Executive Council meeting in Abuja. The price of Nigeria's Brent crude was well above $60 per barrel when President Buhari signed the 10.59 trillion naira budget into law December last year. The budget has an oil benchmark of $57 per barrel. However, the price has been on a 3-4 since January, worsening lately with the outbreak. And joining me in the studios to discuss this further is Akin Tomiwa Akin Toth. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And you are our chartered accountant and economist. Now, we will keep hearing news about the coronavirus on minutes per minute basis and which is enough to trouble anybody's mind. But we're being told also not to panic. What, what exactly is it? OK. Um, the coronavirus has been with the world since um, December. OK. Of course, it started in China, and um, they've been trying to cope with it. Now, as we speak, it's improving with China, but it's getting spread to other countries of the world. And that's where it's getting um, a lot of people to be scared and um, getting people to be Panicking. Should we panic? Uh, we have to look at it over time. Okay. Because um, the effect now is not as much as what could happen if it persists over time. Presently, in February 2020, it was estimated that the world lost $50 billion to world exports because of this. And this is already having effect on the energy market. And this is what we are seeing on the price of crude oil as we speak today. Oh, so you're speaking on the global effect now of, of this virus, because I was going to come to that. Because in terms of counting the cost of the effect of virus, what, what are we looking at? Like, give, give us a, a global outlook, a global effect of it all. OK. If you look at China, okay. China is uh, more like the hub of production in the world today. You see a lot of countries, um, a lot of companies who used to exist in many companies, many, many countries in the world, you see them moving to China to try to get advantage of the low cost of production that exists in China. Now, these countries, for example, the city where it started, and that particular city is a major hub for high city. So, that city had to be more or less shut down. And in the shutdown, it affected the supply chains. Now, that particular effect has led to China consuming or de demanding for between two to three million barrels of crude oil per day, which has shortened the crude oil demand in the world. Now, the effect of this is what led to fall in the price of crude oil in the world. Now, let, 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 me, let me put it to a, in a layman um, okay. yes. um, perspective. You have people who want to board a bus. A lot of people want to board a bus. Or better put, you have a lot of buses available, and you have few people to board it. Now, whosoever who want you to board this bus, will give you a low price. And that is what we have seen affect the price of crude oil. Now, on Friday, crude oil was selling for about $45 per barrel. As we speak today, it is $32, around $32 per barrel. Per barrel. That's a lot of effect. Right. And this will affect Nigeria so much if it persists. OK, quickly before I let you go, because we're running out of time. Now, we heard that the, the commercial epicenter of Italy, Milan, uh, is now locked down. And also in the UK, we hear that um, UK food retail giants like Tesco's and the Sainsbury's are rushing to avoid stockpiling, which may well have the opposite effect. And yet we're told that the potency of this virus has not been established to be worse than the flu. So why this dramatic response? OK. Let me put, let me give the instant, I mean, the example of the face mask. Okay. And the hand sanitizers. A lot of people are rushing to get these stocks and keep it so they don't run out of it. Now, this would have effect on food. Now, 
M Milan, like you said, yeah. and Italy, about 16 million people were said to be about to be quarantined or already quarantined. So people will start, if somebody has to stay indoors for days, 14 days, averagely, it has to keep food. So this affects, okay. that, that's what they So, so what can be done now to actually moderate the extreme response that could trigger an, an economic domino effect? What can be done? What should be done? What can be done is for countries to anticipate this okay. and try to put measures in place. Anticipatory measures. Exactly. Oh. Now, Nigeria is commended to have done well in handling this. And Nigeria is handling this because of its experience with Ebola, which is why we, we are almost fine with it in Nigeria. All right. Economist and chartered accountant Tomiwa Akintaro, thank you very much for joining us on the Extended News and for your contribution. You're welcome. And that's our news roundup of events at this hour. For more news updates, please follow us at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. We'll be back later with more stories making the headlines. Do join us. I am Benny Ark. Good.